Welcome to Open Mic Night. Give it up for your host and MC, Michael Blank. And we're back. What up, boys? In the last episode of Open Mic Night, I told you that I was quitting comedy forever. I now reveal to you that that was a lie, it was a publicity stunt, and I will never quit. Those of you that know me know I would never quit, and those of you that know me also know you can never trust me. So you should never believe anything I say. You may be wondering where have I been for the past 10 days. I was on a small island state known as Hawaii, and I was on a vacation with my family far away from the open mic. So that was really nice. I saw Pearl Harbor. I feel refreshed and recharged. I'm ready to get going again. I will admit I have let myself get a little bit shaggy. So we need to take care of all this shit right now. I came here to do comedy, not grow hair. That already feels better. I'm gonna hit the road and I'm coming to see all of you in real life. I'm coming to Manchester, I'm coming to Miami, and I'm going every nation and state across the globe. And I'm not coming home until I'm rich. It feels so good to get rid of all that stupid hair. I feel 20 pounds lighter. Okay guys, I'm not gonna lie. I've had a killer headache all day and then I threw up in my laundry basket. Yeah, it got all over my socks. And it's been sitting here for a few hours so my room smells terrible. I don't know what's wrong with me. So I feel a lot better now, but I have to go to the open mic like right now. And I haven't written any jokes today because I was feeling a little bit ill. Most people would use this as an excuse not to go to the open mic, but not me. We're still going to go to the open mic. Finally going back to the open mic. It's been a long hiatus. I know some of you are probably mad that I lied to you about quitting comedy. I did feel a little bit guilty about telling you all that I quit comedy, but whatever. My bad guys. I'm sorry. If I caused you any distress, I'm sorry. We made it to the open mic, baby. Don't know what I'm gonna say, but fuck it. I'm just gonna go up there and wing it. Bad news, we missed the open mic. It was over when I got here. I was just a few minutes too late. I will be making my return to comedy tomorrow on 9-11 at the Rhino. I'm probably gonna try and avoid 9-11 jokes out of respect. I blame the throw up for making me miss the open mic. I'm gonna write some fire jokes now and I will see you fuckers tomorrow. Boom, baby. And it is now Wednesday. It's Wednesday, my dudes. We ain't getting sick today. Nobody's throwing up today. Tonight, we're going to the Rhino open mic and we're finally making our debut back to comedy. After being away for 12 days, we are coming back and it's time for Open Mic Night Season 2. We're hitting the road, we're going all over the globe, we're going international, it's going to be crazy. I'm talking Canada, America, New York, Manchester, Miami, all the way to the other side of the coast, Portland, LA and everywhere in between. That's gonna be open mic night season two. I'll see you fuckers on the road. First thing I'm gonna do, September 15th, four days from now, I'm going to Austin, Texas. And we're gonna stay there until September 24th. We're gonna get on Kill Tony and launch our career. After that, we're gonna go on the road and I'm gonna see every single one of you in person 
all 1001 of you subscribers, I'm going to meet you and I'm going to shake your hand. Open Mic Night Season 2 is going to be insane. I won't be living here too much. I'll be living in my car on the road like a homeless man, showering at Planet Fitness, doing laundry in a trash can. The first 175 episodes of Open Mic Night was Season 1. That was just like developing the characters. Season two is gonna be completely different. We're gonna be all over America and it's gonna break the fourth wall because I'm gonna come to your house in real life. Let's go, baby. Season two, here we come. Ain't nobody throwing up today. Ain't nobody throwing up today. Nobody getting a headache and a tummy ache today. Ain't that right, Walter? Walter, ain't that right? Ain't nobody getting a headache or a tummy ache today. Ain't nobody getting a headache or a tummy ache today. Ain't that right, Walter? Nobody getting a headache or a tummy ache today. Open mic night season two. Let's go. Ain't nobody getting a headache or a tummy ache today. It's finally time to sit down and write. It's very hard to write. It's something that I always procrastinate. But I'm going to finally do it. Without further ado, let's pray to the muse for a little bit of inspiration. Muse, please help me have a great debut back into comedy tonight. And please help me write some really funny fucking jokes. All right, baby. I wrote three new jokes for tonight. The first joke, I'm going to come out and I'm going to say, are there any other Michaels in the audience? And then people will be like, oh yeah, over here. And then I'll be like, okay, that concludes the mic check. It's always important to do a mic check at the start of the show. Something along those lines. And then the second joke is going to be about the presidential debate last night. Donald Trump says immigrants are eating people's dogs in Springfield, Ohio. Imagine being the guy that ate the dog and you're watching the debate and you're like, oh my God, how did Donald Trump hear about this? I thought nobody would notice. Wow, I just moved to America and I'm already influencing the election. It really is the land of opportunity. All right, that joke was funnier when I wrote it earlier today. I hope it's not too political. I don't think it really favors one side or the other, but who knows? All right, and then my third joke is going to be about plane crashes because it is 9-11 after all. All right, number three. I found out you have a 1 in 11 million chance of dying in a plane crash. Not too bad. But then I found out you have a 1 in 300 million chance of winning the lottery. That means you're 27 times more likely to die in a plane crash than win the lottery. That does not sound good. I'd like to have at least equal odds of dying in a plane crash and winning the lottery. That's why I buy 27 lottery tickets every time I fly. Makes me feel better. Equal chance of getting rich and dying. All right, boys, those are my jokes for tonight. I'm gonna leave for the Rhino in about 10 minutes. I'll see you fuckers there. Boom, baby. And we are once again on the way to the open mic. Back to the streets that raised me. I'm excited to get back after it. And we made it to the open mic, baby. It started about 10 minutes ago, but I got somebody to sign me up. So I'm gonna go check what spot I am. All right, boys, going number 23 tonight. I'm the Michael Jordan number. Kyle, I'll hop in here, bro. Yes, open mic night. I assume you saw the last episode of the vlog. I did not. And, and you, you probably noticed I've been gone for about two weeks now. I have noticed that. There we go. Yeah, dude, I told everyone I, I quit comedy. I thought it would cause a huge uproar, but... It did It did not. <laughs> not a lot of the comedians around here even heard that I quit. You know, that's, that's the thing about it, though. I feel like you should have advertised it more. Like, really built up, like, this is my last set. It's, it's September 19th or whatever. And then I think it would have done some numbers 
Did Man. the vlog get like crazy views? Was like the title like I'm quitting or something? It got like 170 views and it got like 21 comments. So it, oh, really? I do, I have a thousand subscribers now, so it kind of worked. Yeah. But I think that was mainly from the YouTube shorts I was posting, not yes. the stunt. Yeah. Okay, okay. Man. But you're back now and you're going to Austin next week, right? Yeah, now I'm hitting the road. I'm going all over. I'm going to go to every city in America. What? <laughs> yeah. What? Straight off from quitting comedy to a nationwide tour. It's season two. It's a huge swing around. <laughs> it's going to be insane, yeah, dude. dude. You yeah. excited for Austin with everyone? I'm hyped. Yeah. I'm going to get on Kill Tony and uh, launch my career. There you go. That's all. One swing of the bat. Change the world. What being? Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, brother. Did you get off stage? I did just get off stage. You have a good set? No. Uh, Quite the opposite. Hmm. It's Sure. Boom, baby, we did it. I went up about an hour and a half into the open mic, but there was actually a lot of people in the room. It filled up. My set went decent. Even though there were a lot of people, it was still kind of a hard crowd, but I could have done a lot better. I opened up with my joke about doing a mic check. It fell pretty flat. My name is Michael. We got any other mics in the audience tonight? Any other mic out there? Just doing a mic check real quick. You always got to do a mic check before you start the show, yeah. And then I did a joke about the plane crash in honor of 9-11. I found out that you have a 1 in 11 million chance of dying in a plane crash. Not too bad. But then I found out you have a 1 in 300 million chance of winning the lottery. So that means you're 27 times more likely to die in a plane crash than win the lottery. I don't like those odds. I don't like it. I think you should have at least an equal chance of winning the lottery and dying in a plane crash. That's why I buy 27 lottery tickets before I get on a plane. <laughs> Just even it out, you know? Either I die or get rich. Or probably neither, I guess. And then I tried to tell a joke about the presidential debate. I got kind of nervous though, and my accent fell apart. You guys watched the debate last night? No. Donald Trump said that there were immigrants eating dogs in, <laughs> in Springfield, Ohio. Imagine being the guy that ate the dog, and then you're watching the debate. You're like, oh my God, how did Donald Trump hear about this? My first day in America, and I'm already influencing international politics the land of opportunity and then i tried to tell an older joke about people going through struggle and i point to somebody and i say maybe that guy's dog died and then like a girl in front of him was like my dog died and so they were like freaking out about that for a little bit i didn't really know how to handle it but it was kind of funny i have a little message for all of you you should always be nice to everyone because everyone's fighting a battle that you know nothing about. Like, that guy's dog could have died. <laughs> Not funny. Dog did die. <laughs> exactly. Sorry, I didn't mean to. <laughs> or like, that guy could have a micro penis. <laughs> Am I two for two tonight? <laughs> I myself am fighting a battle personally. I'm trying to defeat the Ender Dragon in Minecraft <laughs> on survival mode without dying. So pray for me, especially. Also, my mom has cancer, but that's not really important in my life. I told an old joke about shooting your car. You guys know back when they used to ride horses around when your horse broke its leg, you would just shoot it. I wish that's how it still worked, dude. I fucking hate trying to fix a car. I wish when I got a flat tire, I could be like, Ch -ch -ch. kill it, fucking done, done for. All right, you guys have been a great crowd. Thank you, Rhino. everybody. But yeah, that was the Rhino tonight. It was a lot of fun. The debut back into comedy. And tomorrow night, I'm going to two open mics. And then we're going all the way to Austin, Texas, where we will get on Kill Tony. Thank you guys for coming along. 
This is open mic night season two. We're going all over the nation. We're never gonna stop. It's gonna be huge. We're never gonna quit. Also, I'm gonna include a link in the description so you can tell me what city I should go to. So click on that, put your city in there, and let's fucking go. And give me your phone number, I might text you. I might text you and say, what's up? So yeah, smash the link below. Anyways, thank you guys for coming along. Tomorrow night, we are going to the comedy club and the bird. It's gonna be crazy. I'll see you fuckers there. Thanks for coming along. I love you. Peace.